Before delving into DNS cache poisoning, let's briefly understand domain name system or DNS. It's like a phone book for the internet, translating human readable domain names like any URL into machine readable IP addresses such as www.example.com to 142.250.184.14. DNS Cache stores these mappings temporarily to save time for future visits. DNS Cache poisoning, also known as DNS spoofing, involves attackers inserting false information into a DNS cache so that DNS queries return incorrect responses, directing users to malicious sites instead of their intended destinations without them knowing. Imagine you're looking up your friend in a phone book, but instead of your friend's number, the phone book shows the number of a scammer pretending to be your friend. When you call, you think you're talking to your friend, but you're not. This is essentially what happens in a DNS cache poisoning attack. This attack exploits vulnerabilities in the DNS system, which uses the user datagram protocol or UDP that lacks verification mechanisms. This can lead to data breaches, identity theft, and financial loss. Here's how DNS cache poisoning works. When you visit a website, your browser sends a request to a DNS server to resolve the domain name into an IP address. The DNS server stores the result temporarily in its cache to speed up future lookups. In a DNS cache poisoning attack, the attacker tricks the DNS server into accepting a false IP address for a domain. Now, when you or someone else tries to visit that site, the poisoned cache directs them to the attacker's website. For example, you try to visit bank.com. The DNS cache is poisoned to pointbank.com to a malicious site controlled by the attacker. You get redirected to a fake bank.com website that looks almost identical to the real one. You log in and now the attacker has your credentials. One common method is DNS spoofing. Attackers flood the DNS server with fake responses, hoping one of their fraudulent responses gets accepted and cached before the legitimate one. Once cached, any future users querying that DNS server will be redirected to the attacker site. 1. Phishing. Users can be redirected to lookalike websites that steal login credentials or financial information. 2. Malware. Redirected users might unknowingly download malware. 3. Massive scale. If an attack poisons a large DNS server, it could affect thousands or millions of users. For example, imagine you are using a GPS to find your way to a restaurant. DNS is like the GPS that tells you the correct route. If the GPS is hacked, which is akin to DNS cache poisoning, it might take you to a fake restaurant where you lose your wallet. The fake restaurant looks real, but it's run by criminals. To prevent DNS cache poisoning, both users and DNS servers can take several precautions. One, use domain name system security extensions, or DNSSEC, to verify the authenticity of DNS data. DNSSEC adds a layer of security by enabling DNS responses to be signed digitally. This ensures that responses come from the correct authenticated source, making it harder for attackers to tamper with them. Two, ensure that DNS servers use strong authentication mechanisms like two-factor authentication to prevent unauthorized access. Three, keep DNS server software and operating systems up to date to address vulnerabilities. Security patches address known vulnerabilities that could be exploited for cache poisoning. Four, implement rate limiting to prevent excessive DNS queries from a single source, which can be a sign of an attack. 5. Use DNS filtering solutions to block access to known malicious domains. 6. Monitor DNS traffic for anomalies that could indicate a poisoning attack, like a large number of requests to an unfamiliar IP. This could indicate an attempt at poisoning. 7. Educate employees about the risks of clicking on suspicious links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. 8. Frequently clear DNS caches to minimize the duration of any poisoning effects. Regularly flushing the DNS cache reduces the risk of long-term poisoning. Some operating systems and browsers do this automatically, but it can also be done manually. 9. Randomize query IDs and source ports. DNS queries have an ID that helps match responses. Randomizing this ID and the source port makes it harder for attackers to guess and successfully spoof responses. 10. Use encrypted DNS. DNS over HTTPS or DOH and DNS over TLS or DOT encrypt DNS queries and responses, preventing attackers from observing or tampering with DNS traffic. 11. Client-side protection. Users should use security tools like firewalls, antivirus software, and browsers with built-in DNS security features. 
DNS cache poisoning is a cyber attack where malicious actors manipulate the DNS records of a target domain, redirecting users to fraudulent websites. By understanding DNS cache poisoning and implementing these safeguards, organizations can protect themselves from this common cyber threat.